Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Minecraft Tech of the B Team. We are back on Mars, and I have so much good news to report. There was a creeper right there. That's why that wall's made of obsidian. Uh, moving in, I have very good news. I have built up one half of our power supply. Here it is. And it's doing great. Uh, I think I figured out a couple of things about how this exploit actually works, and I, I'm I'm willing to call it an exploit. It's an exploit. Uh, yeah, things are going good. Fuel reserves are increasing. I have this actually running at 50%. Uh, this side here, which has the aqueous accumulators attached, is actually up and running, and it's it's running steady, steady and full. This when this is red here, this is maximum power basically. Uh, which is good. And this thing is clogged full, so... I guess it's still kind of... I don't know what it's doing, but... Yeah. So one of the next things in the immediate future is to finish off this room here, which the items will come out of that chest into here, and there will be the processing area in there. They'll have the... Um, you know, I'll have like pulverizers and furnaces and whatnot to process everything that comes in into the raw materials and then store them. Hopefully I won't have too much to store, but the, that is the end game, I think, is to get all of this up and running. So we're, we're pretty close to being done with this map, I think. Pretty close to getting bored. Uh, so let me, um, let me go over this and explain to you what I think is the exploit. Uh, so I'll start with the most obvious, if you haven't already seen it. Uh, these are the oil fabricators. And you might notice immediately that there is no power connected to them. And yet they are generating oil. Even though they have not nearly enough energy to actually be doing that, they constantly create a little trickle of oil without any power. That is the A number one key component of this whole setup. I don't know why it happens. It only happens if there is a pipe attached to it, a fluid duct. And for some reason, it only works, I mean, in general, it only works if the uh, the pipe is on this side, which I think is the east side. And if you put that pipe on any other surface of the machine, and you can't get the oil out at all. So I think, well, that's not true. You, you can get it out, but you have to use, like, a servo, and you have to... You know, do it with the wrench and you know, like that and whatever. Um, but then the exploit doesn't work. At least I haven't gotten it to work. So if there is a pipe on the east side, and you at least get it started, it'll just create oil. I infinitely. So, yeah. All you need is enough of them to create enough oil. So I have this, um, which is holding steady. It's, a, it's not quite full, as you can see, but it's holding steady. So I'm generating just enough oil to feed 50 refineries. Right? And the oil goes up the middle here. You know, whatever. Uh, running 50 refineries. These things are going great. They've actually been producing more than enough fuel. You can see they're starting to fill up. Right? Which is good. Uh, I have a tap off here that goes down to uh, the machine downstairs, which is fine. But I also run some of it here, and it's kind of in parallel. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I have these reserve tanks here, which are completely full. Plus, I think it looks nice. Uh, I got a little plate there because I don't want the oil getting into the water. That that would be bad. Uh, then this comes in here. You have all these compression dynamos, which are I don't know. Maybe there's something with the um, the refineries too. There's something to do with those that they don't uh, use as much power as I thought. Or maybe it's because I was powering the oil fabricators before, but I don't really need to. So this might actually be way over designed for providing the power for the refineries. Um, yeah, so I might not actually need this many uh, compression dynamos to run all this equipment because I'm not powering the oil fabricators anymore, which is nice. I got some aqueous accumulators in there. I actually have two of them. Again, I don't need—I don't necessarily need two of them because I don't necessarily need this many compression dynamos. But that's fine because I use this to power all this, 
And just as a test, I tapped off here, and this is feeding the rest of the base. So I'm generating more than enough power here, which is great. Going downstairs, though, all the extra fuel comes down this tap. Right, it goes down there. And that snakes its way behind the wall. Just behind the wall there. You can see I dug out the corner a little bit. Uh, and it dumps into this tank here, which is my kind of like reserve tank or whatever. And then I have this split uh, just so I can fill one half at a time because these pipes actually hold a lot of fluid. In fact, most of the fluid, uh, like each uh, engine holds four, bar uh, four buckets worth, right? Uh, I keep wanting to say millibarrels, that's millibuckets. 4,000 millibuckets, but then each one of these pipes holds like a bucket or so. Uh, so it really, you know, it takes a long time to fill up, and that's the second component to, to this exploit, is really you have to let everything fill up and sort of prime itself before you try to run it. Because with these engines running, as soon as you put fuel into them, they would stop, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they would use it faster than they could be filled. And so they wouldn't actually continue running. But for some reason, if everything's completely full of fuel, they run and you never see this go down. So uh, I don't know what's up with that either. But you can see this here, it fluctuates a little bit. You can see it, it fluctuates. Every now and again, an engine will pull in some more fuel because it's, it's burning it. But it'll pop right back up to basically full. Uh, I haven't run this side yet, because I don't have the acres accumulated installed. But once I install those, these will start running, but these are already full, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and we will see, once I do that, if there is enough capacity in there. I mean, you can see that this is fluctuating, but is it catching up enough to you know, run all of this? I don't know yet. Uh, it's going to be fun to find out. But I am very hopeful about this. I mean, even if it doesn't quite keep up, I could always just add more refineries. It, so it's not like the end of the world. Oh, I'm excited. Plus I have all this this stuff in here. Eee. I have a cow too. Hello, cow. So yeah, I got, I've been building up this side. It's not quite... Uh, where did that fuel come from? Oh, right, these, these were full when I put them here, so I tried to fill up. You can see these fluid ducts are empty, and these have a little bit of fuel in them, so these were actually full cubes when I put them here. Maybe I should start uh, working on that a bit. Easy does it. Uh, of course I was going to drop one. He's son of a... Alright. Anywho, because I have so much extra fuel... Come on. Up on the... Um, on this side. I might as well just try and fill these. Do -do -do. Do -do. Alright, so I can just do this. Bam. Unfortunately, that one's not going to quite get full because of the way it laid out. Which one is not quite full? This one. You are not quite full. Now you're full. That's one, two. You see that just because all the fuel that's stored up in here will just come right out again. So I got plenty of fuel. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take all this out too. I don't know what I'm going to do with the space above. Um, maybe just a regular farm. I mean, I don't really need crops per se, but there's no point in me keeping the tree farm at least not all four segments tree farms because that's a lot of a lot of trees uh, I don't know what I did with the deep storage unit for the wood 
I don't know where that is. And it really bugs me because there's a lot of wood in there and I'd kind of like to use it. But I don't know what I where I put it. All right, that's dirt. I checked all the chests. I, I couldn't find it. I could have just overlooked it. It might be in one of my bags, too. Is a distinct possibility. I don't know. That's It annoys me that I can't find it. Anyway. That is a mystery for another day. I'm sure it's around somewhere. I mean, I can't imagine I, it got destroyed in any fashion. All right. So that'll fill up these. I might have to do that one more time, but that'll take a while to drain out because these pipes only carry so much. Don't fall. So now for this room here, uh, I don't know what I'm going to need yet. What I need to do is collect um, samples of everything. Like, okay, diamond ore, I know I can put that through a pulverizer. This tanzanite ore, like, can I put this through a pulverizer? Do I even have a pulverizer here anymore? Let's find out. I don't think I have one installed, but I think I have one in my blue bag. I uh, do not have one installed. In blue bag. Yep. Okay. At least you have this much, right? In you go. Like, can I pulverize this? To no, I can't. Can I... Ooh. Can I put it in the furnace? Nope. Yeah, I don't know how... How do you process this stuff? Do I gotta find a... Uh, how about a block... Is there a block breaker of any kind? I guess there are. Um, block breaker. Block breaker. There's two different... There's three different kinds. Uh, how's this one? Invar pickaxe. Invar gear. That's kind of icky. Um... Oh, okay. Wonder how that one works. That that could be interesting. I think you might have to put a redstone signal to this. That's not necessarily a problem. And then cobblestone, iron, and a diamond pickaxe. Let's try building one of these. We need iron pickaxe, iron, and a hopper. We'll go right to here. Do I have leather? I do. I don't need leather for a hopper. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Iron. Here's the hopper. I need an iron pickaxe, so... Do I have any sticks lying around? Sticks? No? I'm also looking for that deep storage unit still. I got this one here. That This is, uh... Yeah, that's cobblestone. Or maybe it's in, in, in here somewhere. Ugh. Have to clean all that out. Um... Dang, where the hell is it? I, I totally, I even forgot what I was looking for for a minute there. Um, right. Need some sticks. Whoops, that's not how you make sticks. That's how you make sticks. And iron, 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 aluminum, wool, iron. Just need a little bit. There we go. We'll make an iron pickaxe, and we need one iron ingot as well, and we need cobblestone. Cobblestone. Cobble, cobble. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Cobble, cobble. There we go. Doop. And block breaker. Okay, let's see how this thing works. Okay. I might as well give it something useful to test. And... Whoa! Okay. Uh, hmm. Looks like it's automatic. I don't know where the item went. Oh, always act. Oh, and that's nice. Uh, it's got a target thing here, which is interesting. I'm going to have to look up. This is the same target uh, icon that was used for the, um, what do you call it? The teleporters. Uh, no, that I used to move the the block teleporters. That I used to move the spawners around. That's the same icon there. So I might use the same mechanic, the same uh, doohickey mabobber. I don't know how that works though, in terms of um, you know where it where it puts them. 
So let's try making the uh, the other one. See if it's more convenient to use. Uh, let's see, it was a piece of redstone in the middle, and two iron ingots. And where's the cobble? Cobble. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. And put that. See, that looks like it has an ass end to it. See that? You gotta put that down just the right way. I can't put a chest there. Um, uh, okay. No. Alright, this might be more frustrating just because you have to place it just right. Uh, I think, yeah, I have some chests. Put a chest there. And then, I wonder if it doesn't even matter what kind of block I put there. Whoops. Son of a... This I might have to actively supply a redstone signal to. I have seven levers on me already. What the hell am I doing? Yep. Uh, but that works as expected. Like, you put something here. wonder will it work on something like that. Ooh, it destroyed it. Okay, let's not... Let's be careful about that. Anything that can be... Uh, let's give it a real test. And those spiders are going to haunt me. <sighs> Tenacious little buggers. <clears throat> Let's try some... Halachite, or... I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. It doesn't matter. Into the block breaker you go. So it looks like the open blocks block breaker is the one... Hang on, i got to take care of this, because that's going to be... These spiders are so tenacious. Ooh. Oh, freaking spiders, dude. Come on, where are you? Peace and quiet. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Doop. Yep, that works. Work the tree, uh, but I would need to set up like in some sort of external clock to give pulses to this. Uh, so I think the other one's going to be our winner. I just have to figure out how it works. And away you go, and oh, I guess I'll leave that there. We'll put this crap in it. There it is. All right. Ow! 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 So, wait. All right, we have the block breaker. What's this? Block placer. Uh, I may have to use one of these, too. Uh, so let's see. I have to experiment. Grave. Jesus. Um, glass canvas. That's interesting. No recipe for it. Uh, donation station, item dropper, where's the, uh, whoops, where is, there's like a target reticle thing, we got all the paint here, got a radio, what's this, cartographer, that's interesting, golden egg, what the hell, um, Fan might be interesting. I think I know. I think it just blows people around. Uh, building guide. Well, I'm looking for the the, the target thing. Like who's it? Is it not here? Oh, excuse me, spiders. Spiders, please. Spiders. Alright, well, oh my god, come on. Anyway, 
Let's see if we can find this real quick. There it is. Oh, it's not listed under, uh... Huh. Well, I don't remember them being that expensive, but I think you only need one, and they're reusable, I hope. But they're not listed under open box. That's interesting. Oh, it's daytime. That means it's uh, time to end the episode, so... Thank you all for watching. I have some research to do. And in the meantime, I hope you have a nice day.